Hello everybody, Shaziz here, out here in my mad science laboratory. Uh, I want to talk about uh, these little uh, fluorescent bulb starters, G fluorescent bulb starters. Let's see if I can get you a good view on that right there. Can't tell if it's focusing in or not. Either way, this is a FS-2, 14-15-20 watt uh, with condenser made in Taiwan. And inside the canister, this is what they look like. This little deal right here is a condenser. And inside there is argon gas. And a little gap between there. What happens whenever you turn your AC on, it heats up that little deal right there, which causes it to make connection real quick and fires up your, uh, your fluorescent lighting system. However, let me see if I can get my camera around over here. They make nifty little spark gaps for your Tesla coils. I was using the uh, seal beam that I had showed everybody at one point in time. Now, I don't know if you can see that back in there. Right there is where my uh, spark gap is. I'm going to try to do this without frying out my camera or my computer or me, but you know, let's see if we can fire that up and you can see it. Uh, can you see that back here? Well, it'll start kicking. It'll start fluttering. There it goes. See that fluttering in the background over there? Yeah, it's pulsing them coils. And it does a pretty good job of it. Doing some experiments. Uh, Going to be working on building a uh, plasma reactor. I'll explain that in a different video, but uh, it's going to be really cool. Show you what else I'm doing with these things right here. Okay. I had taken the uh, taken and cut the condenser off. There's a couple little uh, wires back up inside of there. I clipped those wires and took the condenser off. And up here, you can see a little LED. Well, maybe you can't see it. Let me move the camera again. <laughs> All right. Hope you get a better view of this. Notice I got a little yellow LED right here in the uh, little stove or fluorescent lamp starter and I've got this cable right here running down so that I can touch it on the ground so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and turn some lights off and hopefully you'll still be able to see what I'm doing here Arr, boy I bet that's making you dizzy as hell ain't it all right hold on I'm trying to get my camera mounted Okay, let's scoot this in just a hair. I don't want to get it too close because I'm going to end up frying out my uh, camera or doing something bad to my computer. Anyway, I'm going to be the ground for this thing. And uh, it's connected to that uh, aluminum pyramid up there that's hanging from hemp rope. You've seen it in a couple of uh, my other videos, I'm sure. But uh, I want to show you what this little nifty thing is doing it's pretty cool hang on let me go turn some lights off okay I'm getting ready to fire the switch on this thing and hopefully you don't hear the uh, computer bleeping and blurping and screaming out you're gonna hear some squealing like you do in some of my other videos that's the high voltage and everything but uh, keep your eye on up there where you see that little reflection go in there alrighty can you see the little light going on hanging from the pyramid Let's see if I can turn it around you can see almost barely the LED lighting up as well now I'm gonna 
be the ground here so right here I'm holding on to the end of that but you see it's building up plasma in there and it's lighting up the uh, bulb I'm going to attempt to get my camera close again here you go close your eyes you're going to get dizzy alrighty there you go you can see it I'll let go of the ground it dims down a little bit and I actually I'm the ground and it brightens up watch that light in the background too when I do this Ah, that's something I didn't notice last time. That fluorescent bulb in the background is lighting up as well. And it's all coming from that pyramid hovering above the Tesla coils. Uh-oh, uh I just lost my whole ground and all. Okay, let me reset everything and I'll get back with you. Hopefully I'll edit out some of the... Uh, we're jumping all over the place. <laughs> Okay, we're connected again. We find my ground wire. Hopefully, I won't shock the crud out of myself in the process. All right, there we go. We're back up. Okay, keep an eye on them lights. Yeah, what'd I do now? Every once in a while you get a doggone anomaly. There it goes. It's building up a charge now. Every once in a while you get a doggone anomaly. And then it goes away. That's the deal with mad science. See that LED? And that little, uh, argon gas filled uh, tube there from the uh, fluorescent bulb starter a lot of energy there I ain't figured out why the doggone fluorescent bulb would I take my finger off the uh, ground and it goes out look at that pretty wild ain't it Anyway, once I get all that figured out, then uh, I'll get back with you on uh, on the particulars. I just thought it was pretty neat and I wanted to share it with you. Let me go turn some lights back on. Okay, I'm gonna have to fool around and buy me a new headphone set. My little foamy earpiece thing keeps coming off. <laughs> of course, everything I got here in my mad science laboratory is out of recycled junk anyway, so I'm not gonna stress over it too too bad as long as it still works. They say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But uh, these uh, weren't some looking into because it uh, has to do with the uh, the plasma reactor that I'm going to build. Of course, it's going to be a lot larger than this, but uh, essentially, uh, this works like them uh, little uh, mercury arc rectifiers, except for it uses argon gas instead of uh, the mercury in inside the bottom of it. And so, uh, they're also good for uh, little spark gaps. And uh, you notice when I first fired it up, it was like real super bright, and then it started to uh, pulse. That's because that little deal in there, when it gets hot, bends over and makes a connection. So it's basically uh, turning the uh, coil on and off. And I did notice, if you watch this little uh, LCD screen that's on my Shaziz coil, and keep in mind this Shaziz coil is only grounded by this little tiny wire right here and the rest of it's wireless picking up from the Tesla coils but watch that LCD screen how bright it is All right, and uh, you can also see the plasma in that tube is a little darker let me go turn off the light again so you can see that that uh, tube better
Well, I can't tell if you can see it better or not. Let me see if I can get this a hair closer. But uh, either way, since I switched from the uh, seal beam vacuum uh, uh, spark gap that I used before to this uh, ignition starter, let's see if you can see that pulsing back in there. Try to hold this steady. But I'm afraid to get too close because I'm liable to hit that Tesla coil that I'm really close to right now. Uh, you see it pulsing in there. That's that little metal piece. Uh, when it gets hot, it bends over and makes makes a connection and then uh, cools down a little bit and then uh, releases the connection. So it's uh, making and breaking the circuit really super fast. Some people use 555 timers to do the uh, same thing that that's doing. And uh, seems like everything's charging up better than it was before. This is the aluminum pyramid. So yeah, you can smell the ozone in here real good. That's the aluminum pyramid. And once again, there's the little uh, LED in the deal there and I've got the other end here in my hand I'm on the ground now I'm gonna see if you can see a little arc off of the tip of that you see that thing sparking across there yeah that, that tingles too <laughs> anyway that's just another uh, Nifty part of the mad science that I wanted to share with you. Let me, uh, probably gonna have to edit some of this. Let me go turn some lights on. Okay, I'm back. Got a lot of a lot of really cool projects coming. Ain't got to the grand finale yet, but you'll like it. Anyway, uh, I wanted to share that with you. Let me turn that off so that ain't squealing. These are uh, little GE starters for fluorescent lighting. That's what they look like inside. You might want to do a few tests with them if you're going to make a uh, vacuum spark gap. It's already set up. It's got argon gas in there and it seems to work really well. Um, you can either leave the condenser on or cut it off. I've been cutting them off because it seems like I'm getting some uh, different uh, anomalies that I'm wanting to check out. But uh, I'm keeping some of them with it on so that I can run it either way. Probably make me a high voltage switching system that I can just flip a switch and change it from one spark gap to the next because it gets obnoxious changing them all the time anyway more updates as they come I hope you stay tuned to Shaziz's Mad Science and if you get a chance go check me out on TNS Radio Ireland I put a uh, link up on the uh, on my main page here on YouTube's jacked up ugly looking uh, deal they give you a place where you can put some links I got a link to shaziz.com and I got a link to TNS radio and my radio shows on Saturdays at 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, Central Time that'd be 2 to 4 Ireland time and I hope you come in here you can call me on Skype and uh, ask me all kinds of crazy questions or tell me to shut up or whatever makes you happy Anyway, peace and love, everybody. It's Shaziz signing out. Stay tuned.